Hello and welcome. I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com. This is the chart for the full moon, 24th of Jan, 2016, set for London, and it's at 1.45 a.m. Of course, in the States, it will be 23rd of Jan in your evening. I'm using the chart for London for a particular reason, and that is to recognise how important Mars is at this time. I am a Scorpio, so Mars is going through my sign. Mars in Scorpio is intense. It likes research, it likes digging deep. And it is making a square, it's a right angle, to the moon in Leo. The full moon is in Leo, opposite the sun in Aquarius. Although it has passed that exact right angle, that exact 90 degrees. But it's there, it's significant, especially, of course, for London. What is also very important at this full moon is Mercury. Mercury is about to go forward. A lot of you might say, thank goodness, <laughs> it's been retrograde for three weeks. Yeah, and here it is, side by side with Pluto, 15 degrees of Capricorn. And Mercury has done this before. Mercury was with Pluto last year, around December the 19th. Again on the 22nd, to be precise, of this month, January, and the final time will be on January the 29th. Mercury is communication. Pluto, the god of the underworld, the unconscious. So what does Mercury, the messenger, want to bring to the surface? Remember that Hermes, which is also Mercury, was the only god that could go in and out of the underworld at will. And I think that's an important thing to remember. So it can go there, it can bring people back from that, that territory, and it gives enlightenment, it brings light to, to things we want to see that maybe we're not aware of. The other thing is that Venus has also just moved into Capricorn. So Venus, the goddess, Mercury, the messenger, Pluto, the god of the underworld. Three planets in Capricorn. Notice what's going on with these energies. Mercury in Capricorn, Pluto. This is the right angle to Uranus that's been ongoing since 2012. So Mercury is again ac accenting that, saying... Deep things are going on in the collective and change is called for. Change is not necessarily always a good thing. This in turn, this Capricorn energy, is governed by Saturn. And what's interesting is that Saturn is in Sagittarius, governed in turn by Jupiter. And Jupiter in Virgo is governed in turn by Mercury. So there's a connection here between Mercury, Pluto, intense, deep down energy there. Saturn, which can block whatever it's doing, especially in Sagittarius, about faith and hope for the future. That's the Sagittarian instinct. And then Jupiter in Virgo, not a happy place for Jupiter. And Jupiter is also right with the north node of the moon. And of course, it's opposite Chiron. The wounded healer. This is quite a complicated picture and just looking at it you can see the tension that's being created at this time because of all the oppositions and the squares. They're all tense aspects. They all create events. We do have a blessing. Blue lines create blessing and flow and Saturn is flowing with Uranus. So this is the old Saturn and the new Uranus. There is an energy here that can work well. Mars is also moving towards a trine with Chiron. It's past its trine, well, it's still there, but with Neptune to do with healing at its very deep level, but also it's moving to help Chiron, the wounded healer, and healing within us all. Going back, this full moon in Leo, Leo is about leadership, Leo is about play. If you remember, you know, the summer, <laughs> that was when the sun was in Leo. So now the moon is, the full moon is in Leo. It is saying also about leadership. Leo is the sign to do with kings. 
leaders. And that can be either a positive or a negative, depending on the style of that leader. The sun in Aquarius is the common people. Aquarius is humanity. So this is always the access, the axis, shall I say, of you know, leadership, playfulness, creative energy. Leo is the fifth sign of the zodiac, the fifth house of all our charts, gambling. And then Aquarius, a mental sign. Fixed, they're both fixed. But Aquarius is thinking far more of, as I said, the people, others, our highest ideals. Grassroots movements are also Aquarian. And then we are being challenged, I, I feel, at this time to question our leaders, question leadership. Is it ego? I would feel very strongly that Donald Trump is all about ego and fear-based, the lowest level of leadership, I believe. The other thing to recognize is that always we are creating our own reality. So the moon, our heart, energy, Leo, so what does our heart want at this time? What are your highest ideals as represented by Aquarius? What are your deepest desires? And who shares, Aquarius, it very much to do with groups of people, who shares your visions and dreams for the world? This is also the wolf moon, as it's called. And that's an interesting thing. I don't often take notice of these names, but this one in particular caught my attention. Because the wolf in the medicine cards is the teacher. The teacher is Jupiter. The teacher, Jupiter, happens to be in a part of the sky connecting to a star called Dinobola. And it's an element of non-conformity, seeing the world differently. It can have good results, leading to a great deal of success. But it's out of step with the main point of view. That's an interesting thought. Uranus is very much the revolutionary out of step with the conformity. And Saturn is helping ground these new ideas. Uranus is new ideas and it's in Mars's sign, so it can be quite gung-ho. But there's this clue as to the teacher within us all. The wolf is also an animal very much to do with loyalty, similar to the dog. But as the teacher, wolf is the pathfinder. I'm quoting from my medicine cards. The forerunner of new ideas, who returns to the clan to teach and share medicine. And if you were to keep company with wolves, you would find an enormous sense of family within the pack, as well as a strong individualistic urge. So it makes the wolf very much like the human race. As humans, we also have the ability to be part of a society and yet still embody our individual dreams and ideas. Those words by the wonderful Jamie Sands, to me, epitomize this full moon. How can we be out of step and yet still take the place of leadership? And it, he carries on to say, that the wolf, the intuitive side, may also have an answer or a teaching for your personal use at this time. And if you feel wolf coming alive within you, you may wish to share your knowledge by writing or lecturing on information that will help others better understand their uniqueness or path in life. These to me are words to really contemplate at this full moon. And as with any cycle, the full moon is there visible for us very clearly. And it will be visible for like three days, almost full. So what did you want? What did you write down on your wish list of the new moon? This is the time of fulfillment. And now this wolf energy, I believe, is encouraging us to connect with the moon. And know that this moon is asking us to be creative and take leadership in helping others. Thank you for watching. Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com